Okay, Craig, day in the life, what's going on? Uh, day in the life. Today, me and Mikey find ourselves at beautiful Big Sky Golf and Country Club, just outside of Pemberton, where we usually golf. We try to golf like three or four times a week, every morning. Uh, today's one of those fun days where we get to do that, so we're gonna play a little match play, maybe have some high stakes. I like it. But the day doesn't end there. We're gonna go skateboarding, we're gonna go on a hike, we're gonna hang out with Lenny the dog, and uh, pretty much do all the fun things that Whistler has to offer, and celebrate why we're so lucky living here. I like that, Craig. That sounds incredible. So, nine holes. What's, how do we, how are we running it, Craig? We're doing nine holes. We're gonna play match play. Um, so, you gotta win the hole. Uh, not you stroke play. Holes. So okay. you can have, yeah. You make triple bogey as yeah. long as you make a par on the next one. Yeah, what are we playing for, you ask? Great question. We're gonna do a nice lunch and maybe some drinks. We don't know. But the loser is buying for everybody. He's buying for the winner and also you, noobs. And breakfast balls, what are we doing? We can do one breakfast ball. That Just means... on the first tee? Yeah. Okay, what's a breakfast ball? Uh, let's say it's, you know, it's the morning. It's super early right here. You blow your first shot, okay? You fire it into the water. Breakfast ball means you get a free refire, free reload. Just one, though. Yeah. Okay. Don't tell anybody. Okay, yeah. yeah. Okay. After you, Mikey. Whoa, nice shot, Mikey. Okay. I want a breakfast ball, that one. That's not a breakfast. That's not a real breakfast. <laughs> so it's a disaster so far. Whole one. You know, I'm thinking I maybe should have took a breakfast ball because I don't get the best uh, shot here. Oh yeah. It's okay. That's a great ball. It went straight, Mike. Yep. Jump. The new backcountry tool. Okay, wait. What is it? It's like a rangefinder. But Mikey was saying we should stay in the backcountry. If you don't know how fast to go or how far a jump is, uh, it'll tell you. It's like a work smart, not hard scenario. That's exactly what it is. That felt good after those t that opening, that opening tee box. Uh, this is definitely a makeable par putt, but um, not for us. <laughs> <laughs> That's very true. Go, go. I didn't have a doubt. Not one second of me was doubting that not going. Oh, we're all square after one. Oh, that's so right. Okay. It's been a disaster. <laughs> You're in for triple. <laughs> that's right. That was a really bad three putt. <laughs> One up, through two, on to hole number three, par three. A lot of golf left. Atta boy. Put the pressure on. Damn. Thank you, thank you. Mikey, after just firing two tee shots into the earth, <laughs> feels pretty feels good. Pretty good. Yeah, yeah. Not gonna lie to you. Oh. Okay. That one's gone forever. Went shot. Straight, <laughs> dude. It went straight. That one went straight. I'll take it. Great mic. <laughs> straight. <laughs> We're uh, about to tee off on hole five. We've just finished hole four. Mikey has a two hole lead. We're playing nine. That's rendering. I have five holes to win two uh, just to tie him. So far, my performance, dismal at best, horrid. Uh, I can think of a lot of other words that probably aren't safe for YouTube to describe my play, but uh, I'll leave it at that. Mikey, however, you've been playing great. Thanks, Craig. Yeah. Just trying to shoot it straight, you know? And that's just another example. Great, Mike. All I can ever think about when I'm in the sand is a little Wayne lyric. Life is a beach, I'm just playing in the sand. Because that's straight up my golf game, is just playing in the sand. Oh! Are you serious? Are you serious? Oh! 
<laughs> wow, just like that, we're square. Dude, that was amazing. Thank you so much. <laughs> I can't believe that was dead center. Just hit the flag stick and drop. <laughs> If Mike gets this, he wins. If Mike hits this, we're on eight right now and he's already up by one. We're only playing nine because uh, we got a whole whole day planned. Uh, but if he hits this, he wins. How are you feeling, Mike? Um, I haven't made a long putt in a while. So I would say I'm like a, I would say 20% chance of this going in. But I mean, I'll take those odds. It means there's a chance. <laughs> Many doubted we'd ever see it. Here it is. The return to glory. Good game, Craig. I did not expect to make Great that. match. That was awesome. That is, uh, that's what happens when you golf a little bit. I mean, I feel like we had a, it was a back and forth battle. You know? Yeah. Like when you made that putt off the green, that was insane. People started to believe. There was some, definitely some buzz on the course. Bit of a comeback. Good job, Mike. Way to Thank win that one, dude. Thank you. Congratulations. Uh, our day in the life continues. We're at the skate park, and uh, as you saw, Mike kicked my ass at golf, so bought him a nice lunch and a couple drinks, too. Now we're at the skate park. I haven't skated in two months, so it's gonna be really interesting. We'll see if I can stay upright. But, uh, Mike, you have. I have been skateboarding. <laughs> Opinion, a beautiful glacier fed, pardon me, river right here. Now, now pants seem like a bad choice. <laughs> let's go get Lenny the dog and uh, let's go to One Duck Lake and there's a sick rope swing. And I think that's a good way to cap off a day in the life. I don't know about you. I'd say that's a pretty solid day. Okay. Got, yeah, I think we've, we've had a pretty solid day. Yeah, yeah. We've been very lucky. Uh, this is the best way to cap off a really nice. fun day, actually. Uh, golfing, skateboarding, Mikey put on a clinic at both, and now we're gonna go for a hike up to a lake just north of the village of Whistler. Um, I really like this lake, there's a fun rope swing, and we brought Lenny, who's our, our trail guide right now. Have you ever sat on an empty beach with the sun and the stars yeah, really? and the sea so deep like and ask like yourself it. again, is this for me? We're here. We made it. All right, beautiful One Duck Lake. Um, I love this place. Fun rope swing, and it's always calm and nice and pretty. Calm, nice, and pretty. It's a real great way to describe it, Craig. Thank you. Right. Nice work. Have you ever sat on an empty cliff with the sun and the stars and the sea drift and ask yourself again, is this for me? <laughs> Do you wish you had all the things you need? Do you wish you had all the things you see? And ask yourself again, is this for me? Is it enough now to be alone? Had a fantastic day. That was an awesome day. That was a quintessential day in Whistler, beautiful plus 33. What are you going to do? 
We're gonna go golfing. A little hot, hot skate sesh. Craig's gonna treat us to lunch, and then we're gonna finish off with a little dunk in the lake. A little uh, slam dunk of Rooney's. But no, yeah, that everybody that was like so kind of you to be like, hey, you guys should do these videos over the summer. This is one that got mentioned in the comments, so hopefully this kind of uh, uh, gave a little explanation to what we're kind of doing on our days off in the summer. Yeah, I think it was a nice little snippet of what we get up to in the summer, and yeah, I think it's cool. Kind of day in the life. Yep, day in the life. Not every day, but I mean, I feel like this is a... Four days a week, 20 hours. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> and we're also going to be going to... Uh, we're gonna go to Austria and meet up with Bernie Stock. I think Mark Solar's gonna join us on that trip, so keep your eyes peeled for that video coming up after this one. But thanks for watching, everyone. Cheers, Mike. Cheers, Mike. Cheers, Lenny. Cheers, Lenny. Cheers, Lenny.